Hey guys, today I'm going to show you an effective hot end fix for any Creality printer. Ender 3, CR5, CR6 SE, or CR10. With this fix, your printer will experience less clogs, it will work more reliably, and get smoother extrusion. So if you're looking for more reliable prints, sit back and follow our tutorial. Hi, I'm Melinda and welcome to Irvine 3D. We make videos here to show you tips on 3D printing and show you how to solve your 3D printing problems. So, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications so you can get more helpful tips on 3D printing. Alright, let's get started. In this video, you'll learn a problem with the stock reality hot end design. And what is Luke Hatfield's solution so that it will improve your hot end reliability? And then, how are we going to install this hot end fix? Now, let's discuss the problems with the stock hot end design. In the stock hot end design, the PTFE tubing goes into the hot end and butts up against the nozzle. If the PTFE tube is not flush against the nozzle, the filament can leak from the sides which causes nozzle clog and manifests as printer extrusion issues. And even if you do get the PTFE tube flush against the nozzle, there's a chance the PTFE tube can be pulled loose from the Bowden coupler. If the tubing is slightly pulled while printing, a gap can be created between the nozzle and the tubing. Unfortunately, how the PTFE is attached to the hot end can cause issues. A simple solution to this problem was proposed by Luke Hatfield. The Luke Hatfield technique uses a high temperature insert inside the hot end that is flush against the nozzle and decouples the insert from the main PTFE tubing. With this change, the insert is guaranteed to be flush against the nozzle and reduces clogs within the hot end. We suggest you use Capricorn tubing for the insert. The Capricorn tubing can withstand higher temperatures and last longer. The standard PTFE tubing that comes with the printer is more likely to deform and break sooner. From our experience running the printers 24 hours a day, we had to repair the PTFE tubing every two to three days with the stock hot end design. With the Luke Hatfield fix, we can go three to four weeks before we had to switch out the inserts. Now, let's talk about how to install the fix. First, heat up the printer and remove filament. Then, unplug the printer and let it cool. Next, unscrew the Bowden coupling from the hot end. Now take a piece of filament and stick it into the hot end and mark the top of the filament. Please make sure the filament is touching the edge of the nozzle. Next, measure the length of the cut filament. Then subtract the length of the nut and the threaded portion of the Bowden coupler from the cut filament length. The resulting length is the length of the insert. Cut a piece of Capricorn or PTFE tubing to this length. Make sure that the cut is straight so that the insert will be flush against the nozzle. Take the insert and place it inside the hot end. Push it down to ensure that it is flushed against the nozzle. Place a plastic nut at the top of the insert so that it can push the insert down. Now, screw in the Bowden coupling. The coupling will push the nut down and jam the insert securely against the nozzle. Reinsert the PTFE tube. Finally, you're ready to print. All right, so there you go. Those are pretty simple steps to make your printer work better and longer. The Luke Hatfield fix is a must for 3D printers and will only take you a few minutes to do. All right, now it's your turn. Let me know how often you've experienced a clog in your PTFE tubing. If you have any questions about anything I've mentioned in this video today, feel free to leave me a comment. Oh, and by the way, if you like this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on your notifications so that when we make videos each week, you'll get notified. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.